subscribers and my dear students thank you for subscribing my channel this youtube channel has been created to discuss the various topics of commerce in a precise way thank you for subscribing and uh, stay connected so let us start today's video students today my topic of discussion is elements of promotional mix okay when you say elements of promotional mix first we have advertising okay now what is advertising advertising is any paid form of non non personal presentation or promotion of ideas of goods or services by identified sponsor okay advertisement again a form of communication okay that intend to promote the sales of the product or services yes now what are the features of advertisement number one feature is it is mass communication process okay then it is informative informative action yes it is competitive yes and finally it is paid for okay now what are the advantages of advertisement advantages increase sales volume okay then net profit increases all this increases yes then control product price okay then uh, it exist existing market from the point of manufacturer it create new product and services and uh, from the viewpoint of customer it increases or wholesale or retail it increases turnover okay then uh, from the viewpoint of customer it help in easy purchasing now what are the disadvantages it may be regarded as high level of wastage expensive little interactive okay next form of promotional mix we discuss is about sales promotion sales promotion okay now sales promotion according to philip kotler consist of diverse collection of incentive tools mostly short term design to stimulate to stimulate quicker 
purchase of products okay sales promotion is done with channel partners yes for the customers and this is sales promotion is short term in nature okay some commonly used tools are sponsorship then demonstration trade fair yes or exchange offer then we discuss another topic of promotional mix that is personal selling okay personal selling personal selling is oral communication with potential buyers of a product with the intention of making a sale okay yes when it is more useful when it is more useful when company is small or has insufficient funds to carry on advertisement program okay again it is useful when market is concentrated okay again when the personality of the salesman okay is needed to report or to create confidence clear then what are the objectives of personal selling objectives the objectives of personal selling number 1 creation of demand okay then handling objectives company objectives yes then uh, educating customer and most importantly building relationship another most important one providing feedback okay the another form is direct marketing okay direct marketing is a form of promotion where the company reaches out directly to the prospective client using mail or other media 
okay it is the direct marketing is the best known form of form of promotion okay and most importantly it is cheaper than any other forms okay let us discuss the advantages advantages the first advantages is targeted okay with direct marketing you can send specific some messages to certain group of customer and potential customer based on their buying behavior or demographics okay this will help the company to do a great marketing and a successful campaign also okay the first one is targeted second one is it builds loyalty a direct marketing campaign can build brand loyalty by continuously sharing your brand messages on different marketing channels okay then personal it personalizes the messages according to the audience and personalized direct mail will improve response rates okay then it is measurable it can be monitored and tracked number 5 it is affordable some direct marketing campaign like uh, card marketing email marketing are very cost effective okay affordable means the sense of cost effective and uh, number last one is it is informative direct marketing campaign deliver detailed information on your products and services okay then let us discuss the disadvantages number 1 is instructive see many people find direct marketing annoying and instructive because uh, sending emails of various product may create negative impression okay then um, environmental impact yes environmental impact means some products and services may be recycled in such case there may be a, a direct marketing in case of direct marketing the product may be reselled or reused which may uh, hazard the environmental impact also so we discussed about the elements of promotional mix number 1 we discuss advertisement yes we discuss the features of advertisement we discuss the advantages of advertisement we discuss the disadvantages of advertisement secondly we discuss about the sales promotion these are the features of sales promotion yes then we discuss about personal selling these are the meaning and these are the features of personal selling and we discuss the objectives of personal selling too then we discuss about direct marketing and we discuss here the advantages and disadvantages these are the four types of oh, there are many more there are many more but we have discussed here the uh, we have discussed here only the four types of promotional elements of promotional means thank you for watching my video tomorrow i'll be back with another video